Getting started with TS Plus. TS Plus is a Windows application delivery system that offers secure remote desktop and application publishing. From workstations to mobile devices, TS Plus creates a global office that lets users work from anywhere using any device. The Home tab gives you all of the most pertinent operational information about your TS Plus server. Here, you'll find the server name as well as your server's public and private IP addresses. You can select a different TCP IP port for the RDP service to accept connections on. The default port is 3389. You can see the number of connected users below and manage user sessions by clicking on the magnifying glass icon. On the right-hand side, you'll find information about your web server. The default web ports are 80 for HTTP and 443 for HTTPS. You can start, stop, or restart the web server by clicking on the Play, Stop, or Restart buttons. Here, you can see all the basic setup information and the health status of your TS Plus server. With System Audit, you can quickly determine if your Windows Server is optimized for use with TS Plus. Next is the information about your TS Plus version, along with a link to download and automatically apply the latest updates. TS Plus license and addition information can be found here. Clicking on the license information will take you to the License tab where you can activate, renew, or upgrade your TS Plus license. Just below that is information about your support and update services. The information is clickable and will take you directly to the License tab where you can activate or extend your support contract. A drop-down menu at the bottom of the page lets you choose your preferred language. Online documentation is available by clicking the Help button at the bottom right. TS Plus offers two methods of connection, a generated client or browser-based web access. There are three display modes for the generated client, the remote desktop client, the remote app client, and the seamless client. There are two display modes for the web client, HTML5 or remote app. The administrator tool enables you to create new user accounts. Click on the system tools tab, then on users and groups. On Users, right-click and select New User. For this example, we'll name our user John. Each user must have a username and a password. Enter the password twice. On the Applications tab, you can manage the published applications. In the Publish submenu, you can add or remove applications. First, click on Add Application. Then locate the path of the executable for your application by clicking on Browse. Set a name for your application. Choose how you want your application to be displayed. For example, you can launch the application maximized, minimized, or even set it to be hidden after launch. You can add a command line option or a start directory if you need to add some extra parameters. These are usually set in the properties of the application shortcut. You can also publish a folder as a unique application. Please check our documentation for more information. You can test your application before assigning it to your users. Assign an application to a user or group by clicking on the Assign Application button. Use the standard Windows Active Directory snap-in to choose which users or groups you will assign your applications to. Enter the name of the user or group and click Check Names, or click Advanced, select the desired object types and location, then click Find Now to see a complete list of your users and groups. Double-click on one to automatically add it. Click OK, then click Save. For more information, please check the documentation on our website.